Hey, this is that smart Alex seventh grader from Pittsburgh. Thank you for choosing this video and thank you for being curious about the Bible. Three more scriptures are on the way along with three more comments. Bob, take it away. The Holy Bible, the King James Version, the New Testament. The first letter of Peter, chapter five, verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Some people are easy marks. They attend church and know the basics. They are aware of Jesus and his story and sacrifice, but it's all superficial. It doesn't reach their soul. If you're not careful and aware, if you're not sober and vigilant, you'll be the next one devoured. The second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verse 17. For he received from God the Father honor and glory, when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The transfiguration of Jesus is mentioned several times in the Bible. There were three eyewitnesses, all members of the Twelve, James, John, and Peter. Each had eyes that saw the heavenly light. Each had ears that heard that heavenly voice. Each recognized the presence of Moses and Elijah. And each would choose death rather than to stop preaching that Jesus of Nazareth was the Son of God. They say John survived his crucifixion attempts. The first letter of John, chapter 4, verse 15. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God God dwelleth in him, and he in God. This scripture inspired a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for making me in your image, for creating a path to salvation, and for your son Jesus, whose sacrifice washed me clean. Thank you for his resurrection from the dead and ascension into heaven, showing me the way. And thank you, Lord, for the gift of your Holy Spirit, who dwells within me, and is the source of every good thing that I do. In Jesus' name I pray.